Taking a look at Cooper Island, the British Virgin Islands getting going on your Wednesday, seeing some stormy clouds here, and we are expecting a good deal of cloud cover to linger on at least for these next 24 hours. We head towards our Thursday afternoon. That's really where we see a lot of clearing across the region here, but still dealing with the clouds for the Wednesday for our Wednesday satellite across the Caribbean. Very active here at Central America showers and storms over there. They'll actually clear out a bit here for the next 24 48 hours. But of course, all the storm action is towards our region. We've been watching this low pressure system continuously spinning. Luckily, not expecting any tropical development with this one. So we'll be seeing the rain and the wind across portions of the Caribbean, but not seeing any of that tropical activity uh, into a tropical storm or depression. Showers and storms uh, continued into, into uh, Espanola as well as Jamaica over these next couple of days. You can see that with our future cast. We'll get right to that as we continue to see those showers and storms way off to the west. We're actually going to be seeing sunshine here. Lesser Antilles, greater Antilles. We're looking good. Much of the eastern Caribbean quiet, but here comes another storm system. Very similar to the last one. Maybe a little bit more moisture associated with this one as it continues to push into our area, likely bringing a lot of showers and potential for some thunderstorms later this weekend. Thursday at 3 p.m. You can see that sun starting to poke on out and then we're seeing more in the way of some clouds arriving there for dinner time. Nonetheless, going to be seeing plenty of sunshine for our Thursday, certainly compared to what we saw for our Wednesday. Thursday afternoon winds coming from the east Our typical easterly winds maybe picking up a bit here for the evening into the overnight, so maybe some higher waves as we wake up for our Friday, but really the strongest winds can be expected for the overnight before we even wake up for our Friday. Wave heights resembling uh, more of that wind. You can see the lighter shade of blue uh, kind of going away just a bit to head towards Friday morning, but by Friday afternoon, we're back to those deeper shades. Not really expecting too much change in those wave heights these next few days. A few feet for the open waters and then a little bit less there, of course, for the protected bays and harbors, as well as some of those outer lying uh, inlets. 89 degrees our high temperature St. Thomas St. John looking at a good mix of sun and clouds here for our Thursday. I think we're seeing more sunshine as you can see uh, down there Tortola Anagata. Uh, we're talking about a lot of the BVI seeing that mostly sunny sky temperatures 86 up towards 89 degrees. So not the hottest we have seen, but certainly will be steamy out there. So we want to make sure we're drinking plenty of water and protecting ourselves for the sun from the sun when we do get more in the way of it. These next few days we'll be seeing a bit of changes here. Next couple of nights 82 degrees. So going to be a bit mild uh, for the night. It's going to have to crank up that AC maybe another notch or two. 90 degrees Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good mix of sun and clouds these next few days. Stray shower possible here Friday, Saturday. As we head towards Sunday though, as we saw with that future cast, that's when we're expecting more in the way of showers into the region. We're going to the 60% chance of that rain. We'll also be seeing some warmer temperatures up towards 92 degrees, but we're back towards where we should be as we head towards next Monday, shedding the rain just in time to start off the new week, but looking like could be quite the deluge as we head into Sunday. Good news because we're still dealing with those drought conditions, certainly down in St. Croix. All right, the rain we've been waiting for is coming. It's coming. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Abe.